Your voice, your vote, not just in Washington, but here in Arizona. Millions of dollars are pouring in for the fight for the state house. Democrats hoping to take control while Republicans fight to stay in power. The future of education, health care, and the economic response to coronavirus all on the line. Here's Faye Fredericks. My loved ones are my special interests. This week, the Every Town for Gun Safety, the largest gun violence prevention organization in the country, fired a $1.6 million shot across the bow of the Republican-controlled Arizona State Legislature. The Arizona Republican State Legislators, their special interest is the gun lobby. In digital ads playing on Roku, Hulu, Facebook, and elsewhere, as well as mailers delivered to voters in key legislative districts, like State Senator J.D. Mesnard's in Chandler, Every town is targeting who it believes are vulnerable Republican lawmakers. Vote no on Republicans for the Arizona State Legislature. Kara White with Arizona Moms Demand Action said the Republican-led state legislature has had plenty of opportunities to take action on gun safety. Instead, they've refused to do anything. A group from outside of Arizona that's trying to change that dynamic is probably just wasting their money in the year 2020. But Republican political consultant Stan Barnes believes more money is being raised and spent for Democrats at the state level than ever before. And that is going to have consequences. This year, Democrats have candidates and extraordinary resources. And that changes how Republicans have to roll. Suddenly, what was once considered safe, like Mesnard's Senate seat in District 17 or Anthony Kern's House seat in District 20, are looking winnable to Democrats who now have the resources. People truly believe that Arizona is a place that is a lot more purple than it is red or blue. And with a competitive state, you have more investment. Both Bolding and Barnes agree more money means a better field of candidates for Democrats. We got former educators, we got former school board members, we got individuals who are leading city government, who are running for office. Creating more challenges for Republicans who are trying to hold on to their majority. Republicans are spending money on seats that were previously thought of as solid Republicans, some in the East Valley in that Ahwatukee Chandler area. Democrats have made gains in the House the last two election cycles. If they take control of one or both chambers in 2020, there will be a push to increase funding for public education, health care, as well as raise unemployment payments to a level closer to the national average. Faye Fredericks, ABC 15, Arizona. If Democrats are able to win either the State House or the Senate, it, it would be the first time they've controlled either chamber since 1966.